All right, so some more vocab for us to know. These are all pretty important words. Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles in the same plane with a common vertex and a common side, but no common interior points. Kind of a long definition, but I think it's pretty easy to see what we're talking about. Adjacent angles, an example, angle four and angle three. Angle four and angle three. Notice they share this ray in between, but they don't share any points on the inside. Angle one and angle two, again, they share this ray right here in the middle, but they don't share any points. So there's angle two, there's angle one. They touch, they share a ray, but they don't have any points in common. I'll keep referencing these two pictures at the top. Two angles on the same plane with a common vertex, common side, but no common interior points. Okay, what does it mean to be a linear pair? A linear pair, a pair of adjacent angles. Okay, now we know what that means. They have to touch, they share a ray whose non-common sides are opposite rays. Linear pairs, two angles that touch, they share a ray and they make a straight line. Angle three and angle four, right there. Angle three and angle four. This is a linear pair. They, their their non-adjacent sides are opposite rays. They make a straight line. So if I add up angle three and angle four, it's got to be 180 degrees. It makes a straight line. Vertical angles, two non-adjacent angles, so they don't share a side, formed by two intersecting lines. Angle six and angle 12. They're opposite from each other. So here's angle six and angle 12 at the top. Angle six and angle 12, they're opposite angles. Those are vertical angles. Seven and 13 also vertical angles. And note this is very important, vertical angles are always congruent to each other. That's important. Complementary angles, I don't think this is new for most of us. Complementary angles, two angles whose measures have a sum of 90 degrees. So two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So I can look at angle one and angle two up here. Angle one plus angle two must be 90 degrees. Those are complementary angles. Supplementary angles, again, I think most of us know what supplementary angles are too. There are two angles whose measures have a sum of 180 degrees. So angle three and angle four up above, like we already talked about, linear pairs are supplementary. They'll add up to 180 degrees. So that's vocab we gotta know. I think most of us are okay on complementary and supplementary. Those first three adjacent linear pair and vertical angles, we have to know, pretty important. All right, so why do we care and how do we use that? Okay, so here's the problem. It says find the complement and the supplement of each angle. Remember, complementary angles add up to 90, supplementary angles add up to 180. So if this is the angle that I have, the complement, the complement, I could take this angle, add it to the complement, and it's got to be equal to 90 degrees. And I subtract 26.8 from both sides, x is 63.2. So the complement of 26.8 is 63.2. To find the supplement, we do something very similar. So now I take the supplement, so 26.8, the angle that I start with, plus the supplement equals 180. The supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. Subtract 26.8 from both sides and I get X equals 153.2. So I just found the complement and the supplement of 26.8. Okay. Now let's just do the same thing with angle N, but angle N is 2Y plus 20. But a while ago, to get the complement, all I did was take the angle that I had and subtracted that from 90 degrees. So that's all I'm gonna do. To get the complement, I'm gonna take the angle that I have, which is 2Y plus 20, and I'm gonna subtract that from 90 degrees. So which becomes, distribute that in minus sign, I get 90 minus 2y minus 20. Combine my like terms, and I get 70 minus 2y. That's as far as I can go, because I don't know what y is. So that is my answer. So now I do the same thing for the supplement. A while ago, to get the supplement, I took the angle that I had, and I subtracted that from 180 degrees. So that's the same setup I'm gonna do here. I take the angle that I'm given, the 2y plus 20, and I subtract it from 180 degrees. I gotta distribute this minus sign. 
and I get 180 minus 2y minus 20. Combine my like terms and I get 160 minus 2y. That is the supplement. Okay, let's do another one. Un these are my favorite problems. An unangle, some angle, measures three degrees less than twice the measure of its complement. Find the measure of its complement. So some angle measures three degrees less than twice the measure of its complement. That's kind of a mouthful. So let's do this. So I'm going to let x be the angle. An angle, that's x. So if x is the angle, how can I write its complement? If x is the angle, how can I use x and write the complement of x? Remember, I can just subtract the angle that I have from 90 degrees. So 90 minus x must be the complement of x. Okay? So now I got to use this. So an angle measures three degrees less than twice the measure of its complement. So here's what that looks like. So an angle, that's x, measures three degrees less than two times its complement. Its complement is 90 minus x. Two times that is that two out in front, and then it's three degrees less than that. So an angle is equal to three degrees less than two times the complement of the angle. Okay, now it's an algebra problem that I gotta be able to solve. I distribute the two. Two times 90 is 180, two times negative x is minus two x. I still have the minus three. I now combine my like terms. 180 minus three is 177. And then add 2x to both sides to get 2x to the other side. x plus 2x is 3x. So I get 3x is equal to 177. Come over here because I have more room. Divide both sides by 3 and I get x is equal to 59. So the angle is 59, but it wanted the complement. So the complement is 90 minus 59, which is 31 degrees. We'll do more of these in class. It's kind of kind of confusing maybe, kind of long and drawn out. We'll do more of these in class. Just have an idea of how these work. And the last one, again, pretty similar. An angle's measure is 12 degrees more than half the measure of its supplement. Find the measure of the angle. So there's an angle. An angle, I'm going to call it x. So what's its supplement? How can I use x and write the supplement of x? I'll just take 180 minus x. So if x is the angle, 180 minus x has to be the supplement. Okay, so now I gotta use this. An angle's measure is 12 degrees more than half of the supplement. Okay, so an angle, x, equals 12 degrees more than half the supplement. And this is the supplement. So x equals one half the supplement, which is 180 minus x, plus 12, because it's 12 degrees more. I distribute the 1 half. 1 half times 180 is 90. 1 half times minus x is negative x over 2. And I keep the plus 12. Combine your like terms. 90 plus 12 is 102. I then multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of this fraction. So multiply both sides by 2 to get rid of the fraction. And that's what I come up here and did. Multiply this side by 2 multiply this side by 2. So 2 times x is just 2x. 2 times 102 is 204. And 2 times negative x over 2, those 2's are going to cancel, leaving me a negative x. Add x to both sides, you get 3x is equal to 204, and x is equal to 68. And that's all they wanted. They wanted to know the angle. We found the angle. It's 68 degrees. Again, I understand these might be confusing for some of us. We'll do more of these in class.